We're really interested in making plastics that have unique molecular structures. Every consumer product that's made from an organic chemical these days, the vast majority anyway, come from oil. These are things like um, personal care products and pharmaceuticals and plastics. And so we're very interested in the way to, to convert very basic hydrocarbon starting materials, especially things that could be renewable, directly converting those things into the precursors to consumer products without waste or with minimal waste and without making toxic byproducts and preferably with very low energy inputs. That's a key component of sustainable chemistry. One of the problems is that the most simple starting materials, carbon feedstocks, generally have very strong bonds. That's why they exist and persistent in nature for a long time. Strong chemical bonds are difficult to break. The way that we facilitate that is by the use of a catalyst. Catalysis is a, a way in which chemistry can reduce the energy demand it takes to convert starting materials, in this case a monomer, and then produce a polymer product, which, which is a plastic. In this way, we can access a whole range of material properties that weren't accessible before. We start to mix and match and create molecules that have mixtures of many different monomers, then the material properties that you can access really expands dramatically. And so you might be able to imagine then and taking something like polyethylene, which is used for milk jugs, and modify it in a way that now has oxygen barrier properties which prevents um, food products and liquids beverages from spoiling as fast. Being able to engineer these types of properties for food preservation and, and medical applications, there's many possibilities. You are now able to make plastics that nobody could make before. In our case, the monomers that we target are really incompatible with a lot of existing catalysts. We do this kind of molecular engineering approach to redesigning the molecular structure of a metal catalyst to have totally new and desirable properties. One of the things that's unique to our catalyst is, is the type of small molecules that are bound around the metal ion. And so we design these small molecules called ligands and, and those convey new properties to the metal in terms of its catalytic properties. I think basic chemistry is at the heart of so many industrial innovations. I think the connections are not always obvious, but um, the generation of new knowledge is almost always facilitating new technology and new practical applications.